Hi folks, John D. Ruddy here, and I am going to give you some of my top tips for being creative. So, always have a drawing pad or and or a notepad for ideas. You know, if you have an idea, you might be able to explore that idea right then and there. Write it down, you might come back to it later. I have loads of different things from years ago, from years ago that's still in my head that I'm like, I need to paint that, I need to draw that. But write it down because sometimes an idea can come into your head and if you don't catch it, you can fly away again and never come back. So always, always have that. And also with your drawing pad, use blank paper. Um, you know, for years I drew on lined paper, you know, on a copy book and, and, that, and, that's, and that's fine. But there came a point where like I was doing kind of more and more kind of impressive stuff and kind of intricate stuff and behind it was all of these lines and I remember I met an artist uh, at a Star Wars convention when I was about 17 years old and I was showing him some of my stuff and he was very impressed but he said for the first thing he said he's like stop drawing on lined paper I was like yeah fair enough okay cool and so I stopped drawing on lined paper so you know um also um speaking of that copy what you like you know um, if there are pictures or characters or stuff that you like and you kind of look and you're like, I want to be able to draw like that, copy it, get a good picture of it and copy it. I would avoid tracing um, because tracing is a different skill um, unless you're looking to become an inker for, for comic books or something, which then tracing is a very, uh, very good skill. Um, but try and do it freehand. Plan out your picture first and uh, and do it that way um because no obviously you know if you're copying somebody else's picture you know it's it's their idea not yours and you know there's all all that kind of thing of copyright and stuff and um but what you can do is by trying to recreate what they have done you can hopefully learn some of those skills i do it i do it still sometimes um like I did this uh, picture of Spider Man. It was like a Spider Verse picture, but like it was completely copied from uh, from another artist, uh, Olivier Coipel. And uh, but I was just like, all right, I want, I want to, I want to see if I can recreate this. And and I did. And in doing that, I was looking at right, what are they doing with the color there? And so I was able, I, I was forced to look about how to reproduce that kind of color in in my image. Um, but also I made it my own in a little way. But this is the thing. Once you then go to make up your own stuff, that you can have learned some of those skills from your things. And another top tip as well is challenge yourself as well. Draw something difficult, you know? Yeah, yeah, great. Draw, like, draw loads of easy stuff. Draw stuff, you, draw stuff you like. But, like, really challenge yourself. Find something, obviously not, like, ridiculous. But, um, or if, if, if you want to, challenge yourself. Um, but find something, you know, that's it's got loads of detail, it's got, you know, that's tricky, that maybe, you know, the, the, the body is a strange shape or the or the face is difficult or, you know, the, the, the way that their costume is, you know, it's, it's tricky. But challenge yourself, you know. It mightn't turn out well for ages, you know, and you might look at yours later and go, eh. But I have loads of pictures from when I was younger, which I look at it and go, eh. But that was me learning, you know, and it's it's all based on practice and where like what I have achieved is built on years and years and years of practice and learning from past mistakes and learning from past kind of things where I'm looking at going, ah, OK, next time I do this, I'm going to do this, you know, um, so there's that. Also, yeah, practice, you know, top tip, you know, just practice constantly um you know pr pr practice your craft you know if, if it's if it's drawing if it, you know which whichever you do or indeed animation you know practice and um experiment as well experiment with different materials try new materials try you know if you're drawing try with pencils try with coloring pencils try with markers try with uh with crayons try with oil pastels try with chalk pastels and work out and with paints you know work out what works work out what works in different ways you know um and you learn like i mean for for years i uh, i have used these um uh pro markers letter set well they're not letter set anymore but 
they're um, these pro markers which are like thick on one side and thin on the other um, and these are what I used to draw Manny Man for years more recently I have uh, gone digital um, and if you're animating as well you know try different techniques try you know the cut out stop motion um, stuff um, but even um, you know try out you know making models with plasticine or if, even just making things in 3d in general you know some people work better working in 3d than they do in 2d you know and some people are better at everybody has different skills you know and um, everybody has different strengths and different not so strengths I don't like to call them weaknesses but uh, yeah, we'll call them not so strengths. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so and you can build on those. Um, but also, what you can do is you, when you recognize your not so strengths, you can also you can do two things. You can cha challenge yourself. That goes back to challenging yourself and going right. I want to learn how to do this. Or you can work around your strengths. Great example of this is Pixar, where the technology of what they could do with a computer in 1995 was very limited. Uh, a lot of their characters looked very plasticky. Uh, you know, they, 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 were, they were good at doing hard surfaces, but that was about it. So they made all of their characters toys, so they look like they're made from plastic. And then the next movie was A Bug's Life, where all of the bugs, you know, like the, the kind of shell bodies, they were very simple. But they were like, right, right, we... We need to, you know, we need to start learning how to make fur, how to make hair. And so in one of their next, I mean, yeah, fair enough, they, they made Toy Story too. But then their next movie after that was Monsters, Inc., where they challenged themselves and they said, not only are we going to do fur, one of our main characters is going to be entirely covered in fur, you know. And that was a huge challenge. They challenged themselves and they went for it. And then their next movie, they were like, uh... Let's see if we can make stuff look like it is underwater. And so, you know, they got uh, Finding Nemo and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And just constantly, constantly, constantly challenging themselves until they made Cars 2. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but seriously, though, um, express yourself as well. Top tip, express yourself. Creativity is about expression. Creativity is about taking what's in here, taking what's in here and sharing it with other people and uh, and it's a great way because we have so many emotions um you know some very happy and fun and light emotions but we can also have some very difficult emotions like anger and sorrow and sadness and grief and frustration and all of those different things uh fear you know and we can use art to to express that to get it out from here because sometimes when it's kind of stays in here it's like ah, you know it can kind of build up but if but art is a wonderful way of getting it out there and maybe even sharing it with somebody else because that's the wonderful thing about art is you know when we share it that people other people can connect with it too and other people can see what you put into it but some people can even put their own things into it you know that maybe you didn't even didn't even intend to you know they're like oh wow this reflects entirely my entire life and you're like well i've never met you before but i'm glad that i'm glad that this helps you explore something that's in here you know that's what art is for that's how art is so good and then as well as that just yeah be yourself express yourself and constantly challenge yourself um i mean constantly challenging challenge yourself you know that's that's exhausting and and and, and fair enough uh you might um, sometimes draw for fun. Actually, yeah, if I'm going to do a final tip, draw for fun. Because that is, that's something that I do less and less. Um, well, I mean, I do, I draw for a living. I draw for my job. And, um, and, and I love doing it. And I love doing it. Um, um, but sometimes, you know, there's certain pictures that I have to draw, you know, like, you know, if I'm making a Manny Man picture and, you know, I, I, I know I have to draw a picture of this character and that character. And I'm like, cool, I have to draw this character and that character. You know, I'm not, I wasn't sitting there, you know, a week ago going, I am going to draw the, a picture of those two characters. But I know as part of my big animation piece that I have to draw those two characters. There are parts of animation which are slow and tedious. Um, but you know that's fine that's fine but um, and this is something that is much easier to do when you're young 
and when you have a lot more time um, draw for fun you know and enjoy it and use it to explore who you are because sometimes art can reveal who you are even to yourself sometimes you can get something out and then you look at it and go oh is that what was in there you know because that can really happen too so because you know sometimes when we're art when we're creating art and we're not even thinking about it completely we just let it happen we just let it happen it can reveal to you what has been going on in, in there as well when you look at when you see it down on the page or when you see it on the screen or when you see it in 3d whatever you have done uh, and this relates all of these top tips doesn't just apply to, uh, to, to to drawing or to animation it applies to any kind of creativity if you are a writer all of these things apply you know like oh but different materials it's like well you know practice doing long stories practice doing short stories practice doing poetry practice doing you know all sorts of different things um and uh, or if you're a songwriter as well you know um and again in that same way as kind of we're uh, we're saying like copying things you know songwriters start by learning other people's songs and by and by learning other people's songs they begin to absorb certain skills they begin to absorb certain styles they begin to see how the sausage was made as they say and they begin to to see right okay well they they like to do this chord progression and i like that and so then from there they can go and make their own stuff and the same applies to any kind of art form you know just don't try and say hey look i you know i, I created this entirely original thing um because that is copyright infringement if 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 you did not uh, create the uh, the thing um but anyway anyway all of that to say be creative and um, yeah, that's good.